Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to add a quiz to your Squarespace website. Let's take a look first at a quiz that I have on my website. So if you go to christyprice.com, I have a little quiz button here. It's Websites Made Easy Quiz. And if we click that, it's going to pop us into the quiz. Now, this is a quiz that I've created using Interact, which is third-party software. I'll drop a link to it below, and I'll walk you through how to create your own. But before we do that, I wanted to just quickly show you how this works on my website. So which solution is right for you? Discover the perfect website solution for your unique needs. So I just have a few questions for people to answer. So they don't have a website yet. They are looking for the most cost-effective solution. They have some time. Uh, they can figure out Squarespace and they want to launch a new business and they want to be hands-on. And let's say they have a pretty limited budget as well. So this is redirecting them to a page on my website that gives them the answer. So what best fits their quiz responses. And that's DIYing with a strategic template. Now on Interact, there are different kinds of quizzes. You can choose whether to redirect someone to a page on your website or provide the quiz results right in the quiz. You can ask for someone to provide their email address before you give them their quiz results, which if you want to add people to your mailing list is a great option. So let's go ahead and hop into Interact and this is what the website looks like. It is a paid solution. I don't know of any free quiz apps. So Interact is the one that I've always used. It works really well. Their customer support is really engaged. So I recommend Interact for adding a quiz to your website. And let's go ahead and log in. So here's my dashboard and you can see I have a few quizzes here. Which solution is right for you is the one that's currently embedded on my website. And if we click edit here, you can see how I have it set up. So I don't have an image at the moment. I just have a header, an intro section, and a button to get started. Then I have questions. I have results options. And you can see these are redirected to pages on my website. And I have lead generation, which is that requesting an email address turned off. So let's go ahead and create a new quiz. I don't recommend starting from scratch, but I do want to show you the different types of quizzes. And if we start with a template, we can change the type of quiz at any time. So this is the quiz type that I'm using. It's called a personality quiz. So each question can map onto one or more answers. So let's say in my quiz, if someone says that their budget is between 500 and $2,000, they might be a fit for either a DIY template or a two day website. So it maps onto both of those. Other types of quizzes are assessment. So this is just like the kind of quiz you would take in school. So each quiz question has one correct answer. And the third option is a scored quiz. Each answer to a question has a score associated with it. Interact tallies those up and at the end shows results for that total. You've probably seen this in magazines. So, you know, take a quiz to see how spontaneous you are. You know, if you have a score of one, you use spreadsheets for everything. If you have a score of 99, then you fly by the seat of your pants. So three different types of quizzes. Most often on websites, we are seeing this personality type of quiz that will connect people to one of your services that you're offering. So let's hop back into our create a new quiz and look at the templates here. This just makes it a little easier to get started. So you can scroll through, you can preview these, find the one that's closest to what you're offering. Now it's really easy to change fonts and colors. So focus more on the type of questions and answers that the quiz is providing. And for our sample, let's do, there's a really fun um, coffee matchmaker. So let's preview this and find your coffee match, which tasting notes sound good, flavor profiles. Do you like lighter or darker roasts? Let's go ahead and use this template and I'll show you how to set it up for yourself. All right, first off is we can change the colors of the quiz. So you'll want to adjust these to 
match your brand colors on your website. You can have the background match the background of your website so it blends in seamlessly, or you can have it a complementary color up to you, but just adjust these to match your brand. So I'm going to make all of these more grayscale because I'm using it on my chic template. You can also change the fonts. Now, if you are using an Adobe font and you have a Typekit ID, you can enter that in here and use any Adobe font. You can use Google fonts. So whatever font you are using on your website, you can use here, or you can choose a complimentary one. And you can look, let's just look at display fonts here, popular fonts, and let's look at sans serif popular. And I think PT Sans would be great. So let's go ahead and just go with that. And now we can focus on the quiz itself. So this is where you would edit your title. You just type directly in here. You can edit your cover image. And just like Squarespace, there is an unsplash integration. So if we search here for coffee, if I can spell, can find images, or you can upload an image directly from your computer. Again, you can type directly here for the description and the call to action. And if you get stuck, there are little tips here and examples. So if you roll over the eyes, Interact will walk you through pro tips and examples. All right, next up, let's take a look at the questions. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six questions here. And let's fix this typo, which tasting notes sound good to you. You can add an image here if you would like or leave it off. And this is pretty fun. You can actually use image answers if you want. So you can have an image associated with each of these responses or just straight text. Next up, answer settings. You can allow people to choose more than one if you want or just let them select one answer. And this is the most important part, the edit result correlations. So we talked about earlier how each answer could map to one or more results. And this is where you set that up. So if I click Nutty and Rich here, you'll see it maps to Colombian and Arabica. And I could deselect that, change it around. You just want to make sure that each answer is mapped to the correct result. And like I said, it could be one or more results. When you're done with that, save and then move on to the next question. It works exactly the same. You can add more questions here. You can click to remove questions. There are a few other settings here. Branching logic is in beta. I've not used that yet. Um, you can animate the checkbox, so it gives it a little flare. But let's go ahead and hop to results. So these are the different matches that people could have at the end of the quiz, and there are four. We have Ethiopian light roast, Colombian organic, organic Arabica dark, and espresso special. So for each of these, again, you can edit right on the page here, edit the title, the image, the description, and then at the bottom, you'll see a call to action option. This is where you would want someone to visit a product page on your website to purchase. You might want them to set up a call with you so it could go to a scheduler, whatever that call to action is to get them to take the next step. I also mentioned that if you want to redirect to a page that you create on your website, you can do that here by clicking redirect results and you would set up the link. So each result would redirect to a page on your website. That's the way I have it set up. The reason I have it set up like that is that I want people to visit an extra page on my website for SEO purposes. It reduces bounce rate, but there is no wrong answer. You could do it either way. Now, there are a few other options here that I want to show you really quickly. One is lead generation. I have this turned off on my quiz, but you can turn it on. And what this does is it collects email addresses and other information if you want it. So it's an opt-in form. You can allow users to skip it, which is what Interact recommends, and they actually give you statistics here. So you can look at each of these and see which best matches what you want. So you can ask for an email address, allow users to skip it if they want, and you can edit the form content right here as well, just like we edited on the quizzes. And next up, 
we're telling Interact what we want to do with that information that was provided to us. You can connect it directly to your email marketing program. So if you're using ConvertKit, MailerLite, MailChimp, one of those, you can connect it up directly here. Now, unfortunately, there's not an integration with Squarespace campaigns, but what you can do is choose CSV file download. So you can come back and download those addresses manually whenever you want them and then upload them to your email marketing system. So that works for Squarespace campaigns. Lots of options here to customize the social sharing experience. So if you'd like to do that, you can, or you can hide them. And finally, there is conversion tracking, which really gets into the nitty gritty of analytics. I don't have this set up at the moment, but you can certainly connect Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics 4 if you are interested in tracking these outside of just the analytics that Interact gives you. Let's go ahead and save those settings. So we are all done with creating our quiz. Now I mentioned that you could change the quiz type at any time you can come down here and change this. And that's going to change the way that you connect your answers to the results. So you will select the correct answer or you will give each answer a score, but I'm going to leave it as a personality quiz. Now, when we are all done, we'll click publish and publish changes. And now we have some options. We can share the link to our quiz anywhere. We can embed it on our website. We can create an announcement bar on our website. We can add it as a pop-up to our website. So lots of different ways to do this. So let's say that we want a pop-up. So this is a one-page website and we just want the quiz to pop up. So let's go ahead and copy the JavaScript code. And we're going to add this to the heading tag of our website. So let me show you where to do that. We're going to go into website and we're going to go into website tools and code injection. Now, Squarespace is constantly changing where to find these menus. So if you're not sure, go ahead and just click this search icon and search for code injection, and it will take you right there. And we're going to add this to the header. So I'm just going to paste in my header JavaScript code here and click save. So let's hop back into our interact dashboard, go to share and embed for our quiz, go to pop up and activate the quiz. Okay. That looks great. You can also set it. So it only shows up on certain pages. You can set a timer delay. You can change the background color, all kinds of good stuff, but now we have it running and should be good here. So if I go back and I refresh our website now, there is our quiz right off the bat. Now let's say that you don't want to have a pop-up. You want to embed it. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go back and turn off our pop-up and I'm going to add JavaScript embed code. Instead, I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to take off the code that I was using before. Save. And let's create a new page and start with a blank page and we'll just call this quiz and I'll fix my spelling. And now we'll add a section. Just a blank section is fine. And we're going to add a block code block and embed our code here. And you can go ahead and make this the correct size. I'm going to center it up, save and exit. And you can see that our quiz is embedded right here. So let's go ahead and walk through it. And you're in your email address and there are your results. Now we didn't set up a call to action here, so you don't see one here, but you certainly could do that. Now I noticed that this is off center, so you can actually fiddle with it until it centers up. There we go. Looks great. So now you would just need to add a button or a link on the homepage to go to the quiz. So we could do that here and just say, take the quiz. Take 
take the coffee matchmaker quiz. We'll go to quiz, save and exit. And now there we go. I did want to give a shout out. The spinning button here is actually code that I learned from Will Myers Curious Coders membership. If you're interested in joining, it's $15 a month and you get an entire targeting library and over a hundred premium customizations. So there is a ton of great stuff there. Uh, so if you're looking for something like this or ways to jazz up your website, I recommend Curious Coders membership. If you wanted to have more control over the pop-up, you can actually use a plugin that's uh, Will Myers wrote called pop-up that allows you to pull in the content from a page into a pop-up window. And it just gives you a little more control over the styling. So I'll drop a link to that below as well, if you're interested there. And before you go, I just wanted to show you one more thing. You can always check the analytics here inside Interact. So in the past 30 days, you can see how many people viewed your quiz, how many people started it, how many people completed it. And if you have lead generation turned on, how many people provided their email address. So I would love to hear from you. What kind of quiz are you thinking about adding to your website? Drop a comment below and let me know. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.